Hi, this is Anil and welcome to the video tutorial for the learning light on C++ programming. So in this tutorial, we're going to learn how to overload the increment and decrement operators when they are used as prefix. So all of us know that, you know, when we use this increment and decrement operators as prefix, their meaning is different. And when we use them as postfix, their meaning is different. So here in this tutorial, we're going to learn how to overload the increment and decrement operators when they are used as prefix for example let's say if we had a variable called x and if you write plus plus x at that time what happens is in this statement only first the value of this x will be incremented and then the value is used but if you use x plus plus or this increment operator in the postfix form at that time you know the value of x will be used in this statement and then the value will be incremented so we can notice the change in the next statement so i'm going to show you how to overload this increment and decrement operators when they are used as prefix in this tutorial and in the next tutorial we're going to learn how to overload them when we use them as postfix and also i'm going to teach you how to overload this increment and decrement operators by using a friend function so let's get started so here for the demonstration purpose in this tutorial i have a class called marks and it has a member called mark and then we have the public access specifier and we have two constructors one constructor is the default constructor and it's going to initialize our member variable mark to a value of zero and then we have another user defined constructor which is going to take one value and it's going to initialize the member mark with the value passed to it all right then we had a public method you know which is going to print out the value stored in the member mark all right the next thing that we're gonna do is we're gonna overload the plus plus operator in the prefix form so here in this tutorial i'm gonna overload this plus plus as a class member and we're gonna overload the minus minus as a friend function so we can demonstrate both the things so here to overload the plus plus operator first we need to specify the return type depending on your program what you want to do with that operator related to your class your return type and the operator function is gonna differ but here you know just for the demonstration purpose our operator function is not gonna return any values that's why it's gonna be void and then we need to write the keyword operator and then the operator which is plus plus and a pair of parentheses and then the body so here make a note that now we are not passing any values that's because this plus plus or this increment operator is a unary operator it operates on only one operand and also all of us know when we define a operator function as a member of a class you know the current object will be passed implicitly or it will be passed automatically by the c plus plus and that's why we're not gonna specify any parameters here so this is how you guys can define a unary operator function in C++ when they are used as prefix all right now we're gonna write the function body so what we need to do is we need to increment the value of this mark so here we can directly refer to that that's why I'm gonna write mark plus equal to one you know which is equal to mark equal to mark plus one all right now we have overloaded the increment operator when it is used as prefix the next thing that we're going to do is we can overload the decrement operator when it is used as prefix and also we're going to overload that by using a friend function so we need to declare the prototype here so it's going to be friend the friend keyword and then the return type this unary decrement operator is also not gonna return any values that's why I'm gonna use void and then the operator then minus minus which is the operator symbol and then a pair of parentheses and then semicolon so here since this operator function is a friend function of this class and also this minus minus or this decrement operator is a unary operator it works on only one operand and we need to specify that here you know because it is not a member function or the member method of this class so here i'm gonna write marks and we're gonna take the value by reference so i'm gonna specify and here 
And the next thing that we need to do is we need to define the body of this friend function. So I'm going to copy that and paste it after the definition of the class. And uh, in this curly braces, we can write the body of this operator function for this unary decrement operator when it is used as prefix. All right. Now here we need to specify a variable. So let's say yum and we just need to decrement the value of this mark of the object. So it's, it's going to be yum dot mark minus equal to one and that's it. So so now we have overloaded the unary increment and decrement operators when they are used as prefix. And the next thing that we're going to do is we're going to create the object of this class mark and we're going to use the overloaded increment and decrement operators. So it's going to be marks, the class name and then the object name. Let's say Anil's mark and we can initialize the value. Let's say 68 and then uh, we're going to use the your mark please method and display the value. So it's going to be Anil's mark, the object name dot your marks please the method. And now we're going to use the increment and decrement operators. So now I'm going to use the increment operator in a prefix form. That's why it's going to be plus plus then Anil's mark and that's it. And in the next line, I'm going to write Anil's mark and I'm going to call the your marks please method and uh, I'm going to copy these two statements and I'm going to paste it in the next line and I'm going to change this one to minus minus or the decrement operator. Now since we are uh, returning a white type from these operators, we can't directly call this method from this object right here because you know this operator is going to return void type if this operator was retaining an object of this class marks then we would have directly used this method right here but you know since our return type is void here we can't do that all right now i'm going to save this i'm going to build and run this program and now you guys can see we get your mark is 68 you know the value we initialized and because of this increment operator your mark is 69 and then we have decremented the mark and that's why we get your mark is 68 and i told that because of this void return type we are not able to call this method directly here so what we can do is we can change that we just need to change this one to marks and uh, here we're gonna return star this you know the this pointer is going to contain the address of the current object and also here is going to be instead of void it's going to be marks and uh, we need to change this one to marks and we're going to return yum so now i can directly call this method in this place so i'm going to remove this dot and here also all right and also just to solve the complexity we're going to use the parentheses you know just to make it clear you know otherwise the compiler is going to generate the error that's why i'm going to cover that using the parentheses and now it is clear so first the value will be incremented and then we are calling the your mark this method so i'm going to save this i'm going to build and run this and you guys can see 68 69 68 so you know it is not necessary to do that but you know i just wanted to demonstrate that that's it so this is it guys this is how you guys can overload the unary increment and decrement operators in the prefix form and also this is how you guys can overload them using the friend function so thank you for watching and don't forget to subscribe in the next tutorial we're gonna learn how to overload the unary increment and decrement operators and we use them in the postfix form. So I'll see you in the next tutorial.